imaginal face came to me in a nightmare. Proportions have changed, but I recognize you when we enter this place. Since we started doing the the live in-store shows, I think that's where we sort of started seeing, you know, a, a big community aspect coming into uh, the store or around the store. Um, because you know you have live live gigs and people would meet you know kids would meet kids and then they'd often form bands or you know people would make friends and they keep on coming back. When people ask me that, I always go back to our first very first in-store gig, which was a Western Sydney punk rock band called Unpaid Debt, and that was just a we just sort of chucked them in into the shop. And all the racks were still in here, and it was just it was a packed, a really packed shot, uh, show, and heaps of kids turned up, and it really, um, you know, showed us that we can actually do this, and it was really cool. Um, but in more recent times, we have an American band uh, called Pity Six, um, and they they were they did an Australian tour. Um, they did the Poison City Weekender in Melbourne, and they did a run of shows on the East Coast. And one of our one of the shows was here, and it was it was just really really great. Um, about 90 people turned up, and the store was packed, and the band loved it. Um, and I think that's the thing about record store shows. You can just um, any band just loves sort of playing on the same on the same floor as the punters because it's just something different, you know, it's not a stage, it's just really in their face, so that was fantastic.